guys, Happy New Year and welcome to Wing Ting's Kitchen. Today we're going to make three easy spaghetti recipes with an Asian twist. These are quick to make and require minimal ingredients, minimal prep time and minimal effort. Of course you can jazz this up with different types of vegetables or protein of your choice. These spaghetti dishes are perfect for when you want something quick and easy and can use ingredients you already have at home. So let's get started. For the seaweed spaghetti, you'll need 100 grams of spaghetti, about one tablespoon of cooking oil, one tablespoon of soya sauce, one teaspoon of chili flakes, half an onion, and a sheet of seaweed. The first and only prep we need to do is dice the onions. Cook the spaghetti, use about 100 grams of dried spaghetti per person. Oh, and don't forget to add the salt into the water. On a medium heat, add oil to a wok and add in the onions. Fry until they have softened. Add in the teaspoon of chili flakes and the spaghetti. Mix them together a bit and then add the one tablespoon of soya sauce. Fry and mix until it's all combined. And now the onion chili spaghetti just needs the seaweed on top. And now it's ready to serve. For the curry spaghetti, you'll need 100 grams of spaghetti, one clove of garlic, half an onion, one tablespoon of cooking oil, one teaspoon of curry powder, and 120 milliliters of milk. For the curry spaghetti, we need to finely slice the onions and garlic. Since I've already made the spaghetti, we can go straight into the cooking. On a medium heat, add in oil, then add the onion and garlic and fry until soft. Add in one teaspoon of curry powder and fry with the onions and garlic until it's well combined. Add in 120 milliliters of milk and mix together. When the milk starts to bubble, add in the spaghetti and mix well. If you like spicy food, add a touch of chili flakes. And the curry spaghetti is ready to serve now. For the five spice spaghetti, you'll need 100 grams of spaghetti, one clove of garlic, one tablespoon of cooking oil, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one teaspoon of sugar, and a quarter of a teaspoon of five spice powder. And finally, for the spaghetti dish with the five spice, the only prep we need to do is slice the garlic. If you don't have fresh garlic, garlic powder will do fine. You can either cook the spaghetti first, or if you have two hobs and two pans, fry the garlic while the spaghetti cooks. On a medium to high heat, add one tablespoon of oil. Add in the garlic. Fry the garlic so the edges are light brown, but be careful not to burn them. Then add in a quarter of a teaspoon of five spice. Mix until the five spice is combined with the garlic. Add in the spaghetti and mix well. Add in one tablespoon of soy sauce and a teaspoon of sugar. Fry until it's mixed well. And the five spice spaghetti is ready to serve now. Hopefully you'll find these easy to make. Each dish has its own unique flavours and of course you can add to them and tailor them to your own taste buds. For the first one, if you don't have any seaweed, you don't have to add any. But my favourite add-on is definitely bacon. For the curry spaghetti, Try adding some chicken or prawns. And for the third one with the five spice, add some thin slices of pork belly or chicken if you have any. So pick one and make it for dinner this week. I hope you liked my video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and turn on your notifications so you won't miss the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!